Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. Well, here we are with Dodge Raider. He's one of my other characters I've been playing for a while now. And uh, he is a scrapper. And basically what he is, is he's set up as a street justice and electric scrapper. So street justice is his primary, and then uh, he has electric armor. And I uh, created this character uh, uh, very basic form uh, many years ago and uh, live. I didn't play very much of him. Um, so I've really only been playing him in, in this version of the game uh, for the most part. And uh, he's actually pretty cool. Um, I love the costume. Uh, in fact, um, this is the same costume I created for him before. I actually uh, I created this character, and within one hour after I got the, the character creator, he had won 5 million influence in a costume contest. So that was really good. Um, the basic idea is uh, Dodge Raider was a former 1987 Dodge Raider. The, uh, the, the vehicle, the SUV, um, if you're not familiar with that, it was uh, also known as the Mitsubishi Montero two-door. Um, yeah, they had very small uh, SU, two-door SUVs back in the 80s, and that uh, was my favorite car. I, I've had actually two of those cars over the years, and uh, they're great. Uh, underpowered, but great. Um, so this, this basic character comes from that, um, which is why I went with the electric armor, because it's perfect for a vehicle, a car. Um, I'm going to go over some of the powers we, sets we have. Uh, Street Justice is very popular, and it, it's really good. Um, we have an uh, interesting um, type uh, gimmick to Street uh, Justice. Uh, we have the basic strikes like a initial strike and, uh, and heavy blow right here, and uh, rib cracker, which is pretty cool. And uh, I also have shin breaker, which I just got recently. That's uh, my level 26 power. There's also one that's going to be uh, crushing uppercut. Um, but when you when you hit any of those powers, uh, you start to get like a little counter up here. And when you get a, a, uh, three of those counters, a little combos, then you can use uh, sweeping cross and spinning strike. And sweeping cross does some a big wind up punch on somebody, and uh, sweeping sh uh, spinning strike uh, spins around and, and and beats up everybody in the uh, in the immediate area. Now you can use these two powers even without. So it's not like Titan weapons where they're, they're grayed out until you um, activate them. Uh, it's just that when they have their little orange circle around them then, and you use them, then they do a lot more damage. So that, that's something that's very useful. It hits pretty hard. Um, it, it's, a, it's a pretty powerful one. Um, the electric armor is the interesting twist to this character. I, I, I wasn't really familiar with the electric armor. And to be honest, I've, I've had a little bit of a, a, a tough time with it. So far, I think uh, my understanding is in low level uh, characters, uh, electric armor is a little tougher. And I have found that to be true. Um, we start off with charged armor. And charged armor is our, fir our first, you know, basic. Whoops. I need to do that. Um, charged armor is our first of our um, uh, powers that gives us our, our armor. This protects us from uh, smashing, lethal, and energy. And our uh, static shield is protects us from our hold and our sleep, and uh, you know various things like that. But it does not protect us from knockback or knockdown. Um, that's protected uh, and grounded. Grounded actually uh, gives us some more energy and negative energy resistance plus uh, protects us from, from uh, endurance strain and from knockback. Uh, he still gets knocked down, though. Knocked down and knocked back somewhat. Um, he had like 8.84. I've got one damage resistance in there right now. Uh, conductive shield is our protection from other things like fire and cold and energy and um, negative energy. So we have a lot of energy uh, protection here, as you'd expect. If you notice up here on the top of the screen, I've got my uh, resistances up here. Uh, right now, because I also have tough, I went ahead and got tough on here. So. I got 51% on smashing uh, and lethal, 31 on fire. Energy resistance is 75% which, and it's blue. And that means that we're maxed out. You can't get any higher uh, resistance than 75% on a scrapper. So we have already maxed out our energy resistance. Um, we have 26% on negative energy. Um, the amazing thing about this is I did a mission yesterday where I had to fight a bunch of the Sioux. And you know, the Sioux, I generally don't like those guys. Those, those, those guys hit really hard. They hit really fast, and it's always energy damage. Well, 
they were they were i was running in there these guys were, were punching and punching and punching and punching I, i'm fighting them back and i said oh man i'm getting hit a lot i look at my my green bar was not moving and i looked at the the damage and they were they were knocking me for like negative three negative three negative <laughs> three and i would hit them for like 150. so i was like holy cow this uh this energy resistance works fantastic so it was a really uh really nice uh improvement so that was really useful um, I also have Lightning Field, and Lightning Field is, is one of these powers I'm always a sucker for. Let me turn it on here. This is a, a, a damage um, aura. So anybody that runs into this little aura is going to start getting negative points. It's not a lot of negative points, but it does do a nice job. So I, I tend to use this. Um, so I turn this on when I'm getting into a battle, and as I'm punching the one guy, his friends are standing over here hitting at me, but they're also taking damage while I'm not even facing them. Um, you know, right now I'm up to like eight to ten points per tick, per uh, per character. So and I haven't slotted any damage in this yet. I've, right now I've just got this one slotted as let me see here, uh, three endurance reductions and an accuracy because this thing costs a lot. Um, as you can see, I have four toggles plus that, so that's five toggles total. I generally don't run with these two on. So, so in battle I've got five toggles going, which is quite high. Um, we also have uh, this power right here, Energize, and this has been a, a, a helper so far. Um, when you click on this, we get um, endurance discounts. So all my endurance costs go down for like 30 seconds, so it goes like cuts in half or something. So I can I can swing my you know swing my fist and beat people up, but it takes half as much damage and it cuts the the, the endurance cost of these powers down too. And this, the good thing about this is it also uh, gives me some heal right away and boosts my regen for a while. So that's a really nice power. Um, let's see. I'll be taking lightning reflexes uh, when we get to that. That's, that's going to give me a uh, plus recharge and plus speed. So it's going to make everything go a lot faster. Um, at level 35, I'm going to finally get this power sync variable. Uh, power. And that's going to supposedly take care of all my endurance problems because it's plus endurance. Um, when I'm surrounded by enemies, I can click on this button and my endurance, I'm going to suck endurance from them and take it in here and myself. And my blue bar will just go right on up to the top. Supposedly, I haven't gotten there yet. Um, I certainly hope that's what happens because right now he is a endurance drain. Um, there's also a power called Power Surge, which is, gives me a temporary super powered on everything and then I get exhausted afterwards. Um, the problem I've had with this character so far has been endurance. And uh, as this is the resistance and everything's have gotten better and better and better, um, my endurance costs are just killing me. Um, you know, I've, I've started to have to turn this uh, lightning field off and it's like, well, you know, you, get, you can't use all your powers then what's the point of that? Um, let me show you what I've done though. I just did this a few minutes ago, in fact. I went ahead and went into the, that's why we're sitting, oh, as you can see, we are inside the university and the reason I'm here is because I just got one of my uh, powers. Let me show you. I picked up a performance shifter chance for endurance. Um, I had these things, three things slotted, and I was getting, I think, 0.8 added to my endurance uh, for on my, on my base information because I had three of these. Um, I've sacrificed some of that to get this because uh, this performance shifter gives a chance for plus endurance gives a, I think, a 20% chance of granting the power's target a small in, a small infusion of endurance. This, will, this effect will trigger roughly one and a half times per minute. Now, I haven't had a chance to use this yet, but uh, this is the one that everyone swears by. Is it cost me, the, the recipe costs two and a half million influence, and then I spent another half a million influence for uh, one of the, the uh, items I needed to, to create this recipe, uh, the deific weapon. So it cost me quite a bit. But supposedly this is going to, you know, keep my blue bar, the blue bar go down, then this thing will trigger and go back up. So that's that's what I'm definitely hoping for. <laughs> that's that's the goal. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, this is, um, I had a hard time with the character in the first maybe 15 levels in terms of he got hit hard, he got beat up a lot. Um, I finally was able to start getting these resistances up. You know, he, he plays much better, but then I started finding problems with the endurance bar. So hopefully this is going to take care of that. Not completely, but 
but uh, even with my slow cadence that I usually... Notice I have um, Brawl circled. You don't do that on a Scrapper. You do that on a Brute to keep fighting. I've been doing this on a Scrapper just to keep my cadence down. So, attack, Brawl. Attack, Brawl. Attack, Brawl. So I'm trying to keep it nice and steady so that I don't you know, start pushing these buttons too fast and burn myself out. Even with doing this in the last level or two, I still have a hard time keeping this thing up. So we're going to see how this works. So what I want to do today is let's do a, a mission. Uh, we have a mission, a uh, bus freak leader and his crew, and it's in Skyway City. And this is part of the Freak Olympics, freak Olympics uh, story arc I'm doing on this character. I've, I've done the final episode of that um, on a previous video, which is quite a bit of fun. I always do it on my characters. And... Uh, we won't be doing the whole thing here. What I want to do here is just uh, do the mission to see how my performance shifter is working. <laughs> and also, as you can see how uh, this particular combination of powers works. I think the, everyone agrees that the Street Justice is really a solid set. And I know that people who have been using... Um, I'm not sure which one to go, so we'll just choose one. I know that people have been using electric armor on scrappers for you know when they're they're higher level, really really like it. Um, but I think they've all said, yeah, it's pretty tough when you're getting started on it. So we'll see if this works. And again, at one point I, I, I've been reading up on this. I said, you know, maybe I should just try a different secondary. It's like, well, I mean, he's a car. Electrical is going to be the perfect secondary for a character like this. I mean, otherwise, you know, I could change the whole concept for the character, but then why do I need the character at all? You know, I got the concept first, and I'm trying to find something that fits the, the concept. So that's that's what I was doing on this one. But uh, I, I I can feel that this is going to be a, a pretty worthwhile set when it when it comes to fruition. Obviously, when I get later on with power sync and things like that. And uh, I'm also going to take as my um, uh, my level 41, 44, 49, 740, all those uh, powers. I'm not sure what they call those things. Um, I can't remember. Uh, when you get a whole different power set uh, options, I'm choosing the uh, the energy one, where we get conserve power, which will keep your endurance cost down, physical perfection, which boosts uh, both your health and endurance modification. I'm doing all that stuff. So by the time I get to... to 41 or 44, this character is going to be just going fantastic. Uh, just until then, it's just we got me worried. <laughs> okay, there's one of my little gimmicks. Then you saw the little arms like. Let me, uh, here's a combo ladder level. It hits three, now I can do this. Oh, didn't have to. Uh, when the combo level hits three, then these two things light up and they they become more powerful. Okay, lots of guys to practice on in here. Now this first power, this uh, this um, initial strike, I don't even I just have it slotted just for accuracy. Let's do the spinning ball. I've only got one of them that time. That's, that's kind of a shame. Ripcracker is a very satisfying power. Wow! I one-shot that guy. One-shot him. Nice. Ripcracker. Ooh. That looks like it would hurt. That's one that just looks like... That, that's just incredibly painful. Watch my uh, the spinning strike again. Oh, there's another guy back, right back there. I didn't even see this dude back here. Because the blue bar is going down a little bit. So it's at every one and a half, one and a half times per minute.
Oh, we got some bombs. Okay, so I can still use the spinning strike thing. It just doesn't do as much damage. Those are the little numbers coming off their head. I'm getting 10 points on these guys from uh, just for my lightning. That, that that damage adds up. It's a small amount of damage. There's a bomb up there. Uh, so it's not a big amount of damage per tick, but it really does add up. So when I face one of these guys and he's already at half damage, that's uh, that's a pretty powerful starting point. Someone's attacking me. Oh, there he is. Oops. Sorry, man. Come on down. Come on down. Let's play. There you go. Ooh, wow. That was that was pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna do a spinning strike see what I get this time. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm very happy with the, uh, oops. I'm really happy with my resistances on this character. Again, the, the sewer are a group of people that I've always kind of avoided, especially the stupid sorcerers where they're some hurricane power. But, uh, man alive, I was fighting them the other day, and it was just awesome. Wind up thing. Oh! Come on. Ah! They do seem to run away from this character more than they do some of my other characters. I don't know if I've just noticed that more or, or if they're just scared of this character. I think because of the lightning field. I think they're just kind of, uh, I think that's what's chasing them away. I have a controller who I haven't played in a while. My uh, uh, fire radiation controller. And uh, I haven't leveled up very high. But when you get both hot foot, which, which, burns all your enemies in the uh, choking cloud, which poisons all your enemies so they, they hold them. That's some kind of combination because they can't, get, they can't run away. <laughs> it's awesome. It's hard to tell if this thing is working, but I tell you, the... Uh, I'm seeing much better improvement in terms of my blue bar now than I was seeing yesterday. It's going down. It's going down. But it seems to be bouncing back faster. And right now it's just doing normal. But when I was in battle, I think the thing was triggering some. I didn't want to be down here. There are several other of these kind of uh, enhancement sets uh, available as well. There are several in the, the uh, healing where, where you can get um, boost to recovery and endurance. Um, there's a couple that give boost to both endurance and regen, which is nice. Those obviously cost quite a bit of uh, money as well. Okay, my, my bar is low. Keep the fire, let's see if it bounces back here. That, that took a nice big jump there. See that? Okay. Watch the blue bar do a little bit more. Okay. 
I think it's going to be important to keep the cadence going anyway. I, I think you can still burn this thing out. But it's less likely this performance shifter. Yeah. All right. Well, there's another. I missed the. I missed the last bomb. Oh, there it is, right by there. All righty. That is it. So that's going to do it for this episode. Let's uh, get out here and talk to our contact. The Freak Olympics. See, the leader of the Freak Show doesn't want Upstart freed. I'd like to know more about this, but first we have to put a, shut the Freak Olympics down once and for all. Oh, this is the final, this is the final, uh, well. We've already done this on a previous episode, so I won't do that, that again on here. But I think that's going to do it for us. So he's not being electrocuted. We're sitting in water, but he's not electrocuted, so that's good. Um, <laughs> they, don't, they don't make that as a special thing. If your character is electrical and you get in water, you fry. But anyway. Um, so I think we're going to call it a day on this one. So this is uh, Street Justice Electric uh, Armor on scrappers the electric armor is an interesting one um it's been a little bit expensive i think that once i get power sync and some other things on here then i won't need that performance shifter but you know something i if i'm not having a fun playing the character then what's the point of playing it so with this performance shifter thing in here he's now fun to play again i, I can enjoy it i don't have to sit there and go oh no because what i was finding was the blue bar was all the way down to here and i have to turn off my lightning field and 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 wait between enemies for it to go back up slowly and it's like that's that's not fun you know at that point it's like why am i why am i knocking myself out i've got 15 characters now although i didn't mean to do that but i've got 15 right now and all the other ones are a lot more fun so uh this helps this character out quite a bit and uh, he does fight very well so until next time this is greg 29407 along with dodge raider saying off be the same and we will see you next time